So what happens after death? Uh, this question is asked all over the world by philosophers, religionists, and lay people also. What does happen after death? Now, actually, there's a growing number of people around the world who believe in reincarnation, not just Hindus. Although uh, reincarnation is clearly spelled out in the Vedas, uh, and it's clearly spelled out in the Bhagavad Gita also, spoken personally by Lord Sri Krishna Bhagavan. Uh, that the soul passes from one body to another, and this is called transmigration of the soul. And in the samsara wheel of repeated birth and death, so actually, it is guaranteed that one who has a body must die, regardless of what kind of body they have, and they must again get another body. So in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna very specifically describes how the soul does not die when the body dies. Uh, simply, the soul is transferred to another type of body, according to activities, whether one has performed in the human life pious activities or whether one has performed impious activities. So, there are these 8,400,000 species of life, except for the human beings, um, the 8,400,000 species, they are going on automatically computerized, so to speak, changing from one species to another, to another, to another, according to the systematic uh, arrangement of the Supreme Lord and time. Uh, and only in the human form of life, when one comes to the human form of life, they can get off this samsara cycle of repeated birth and death. Uh, it's the opportunity, it's the unique opportunity to develop God consciousness and devotion to God. Otherwise, uh, more or less, those who cannot uh, engage in devotion to God and who persist in inauspicious or sinful activities, more or less they are doomed. Why? Because they have to go down. We will discuss about the lower or hellish planets. They have to go down and then they have to take animal bodies also. So, some people foolishly think that uh, once you attain the human form of life in reincarnation, that it's a one-way street, namely up, and that you uh, are in a safe position and will continue coming back to the human form of life uh, automatically. No, it's actually not true. Uh, to attain the human life again, one has to perform sufficient Sukriti, or pious and religious activity. So, uh, therefore, it's not a fact that return to the human form of life is automatic. So many people who are currently in the human body, they won't make it back to the human life again. In the next birth, they will have to go down, most probably to the hellish planets uh, for some time, and then maybe if they're lucky, they make it back get a human form again, if they're lucky. But most of those that fall from the human life, form of life due to sinful or inauspicious activities, most of them won't make it back to the human life again. Uh, they may get birth as animals, or they may get birth as other inauspicious species, but not human life. So the human life, form of life is described as sudurlaba very, very rare, rarely attained. It's not at all automatic. And so one should therefore use the human form of life very, very carefully. The human form of life can be paired, can, compared to the, uh, uh, the samsara cycle can, can be paired to a Ferris wheel, the giant wheels, the large wheels that are used for recreation all over the world. Um, in the Ferris wheel, there are buckets, and people are riding in these buckets 
uh, for recreation. Some of them go way high in the sky. Some of the largest Ferris wheels in the world are maybe four stories, five stories tall, gigantic. And others are smaller for local fares. But it turns, the motor turns the wheel and it is turning and you're riding in the buckets. But there's only one position in which you can get off of that Ferris wheel. And that's when the bucket that you're riding in arrives at the bottom. After your time is up, you pay the fee and you only get about 10 or 12 minutes riding around. And then again, your bucket comes to the bottom platform. The attendant unlocks the lock and lets you out of the bucket and you, uh, you have to leave. So, um, similarly, the human form of life is the only form, the only way to get off the samsara cycle of repeated birth and death. And so if you blow it, if you miss it, if the wheel starts up again, you're going up into the sky, you can't get off. So, therefore, the human form of life must be recognized as paramount or most important uh, and the only way, the only form of life in which one can engage in self-realization. Hare Krishna.